the Mars 2020 mission, Mars Perseverance, uh, has had a string of firsts. The first sounds from Mars. You know, we can now hear the wind on another world. More practically, it is the first test of a new... In 2018, NASA sparked an online frenzy with photos of a Martian rock formation eerily resembling a human femur bone, leading some to believe the red planet is home to extraterrestrials. Hello, and welcome back to our channel, Mars Discovery. In today's video, we will take a look at the skeletal remains said to be found on Mars. Before we continue, please take a moment to give this video a like and subscribe to our channel for more amazing videos. And with that, let's take a peek. NASA's bizarre photo features a pile of rocks partially buried in the rusty sands of Mars. Snapped by NASA's Curiosity rover in August 2014, one rock in particular sticks out like a sore thumb. First, we need to know if ancient Mars was habitable. Did it once have the right climate and the right chemistry to support life? The Curiosity rover is investigating these questions by looking for organic molecules containing carbon. Organic molecules are the best. An eroded rock in the upper half of the photo resembles a human thigh bone, a fact even acknowledged by NASA. The U.S. Space Agency said, No bones about it. Seen by Mars rover Curiosity using its mast cam, this Mars rock may look like a femur thigh bone. Mission science team members think its shape is likely sculpted by erosion, either wind or water. What we're seeing on Mars could be evidence of intelligent design by some unknown extraterrestrial culture. It's very much worth humanity's while to travel there and find out for sure. Are these the photo was recently unearthed by astrophysicist Antonian Paris, who tweeted it to his more than 406,100 followers. The tweet sparked a flurry of mixed responses, with some opting to believe an alien origin. Professor Paris, chief scientist at the Center for Planetary Science, tweeted in jest, Bones on hashtag Mars? NASA just rocks. In response, one person said, I think the top middle one is a bone. Another person said, Looks like a bunch of spacecraft debris with alien remains. Hmm, very interesting. A third person said, After Operation Paperclip, I wouldn't believe anything NASA says. Another person tweeted, That's a thigh bone. However, as NASA pointed out, there is no evidence life has ever developed on the Red Planet. And though Mars is believed to have once resembled a young Earth, its conditions may have been right only for simple microbial life to evolve. NASA said, if life ever existed on Mars, scientists expect that it would be small, simple life forms called microbes. Mars likely never had enough oxygen in its atmosphere and elsewhere to support more complex organisms, thus large fossils are not likely. Psychologists can also explain why so many people could be led to believing the eroded rock is a bone, a peculiar trick known as pareidolia. Pareidolia occurs when people see recognizable shapes and patterns where they do not exist. For example, people who see animals in clouds or smiling faces in car bumpers are all experiencing pareidolia. NASA said, Pareidolia is a psychological phenomenon where people see recognizable shapes in clouds, rock formations, or otherwise unrelated objects or data. There are many examples of this phenomenon on Earth and in space. According to astronomer Larry Sessions, pareidolia is a form of apophenia. Famous cases of pareidolia include seeing a face on the moon. In an article for EarthSky.org, the astronomer wrote, to a certain extent, the definition of pareidolia can be used to describe how the ancients connected the dots and came up with the patterns we know as constellations. It does not take a great deal of imagination to see a lion in Leo, a scorpion in Scorpius, or a mighty hunter in Orion. Reprising an Old Quest NASA is reprising an old quest, a search for life on Mars. The hunt for the Red Planet residents began close to four decades ago when the agency sent two spacecraft, the Viking landers, to Mars. Their task was to prove that the planet, while red, is not dead. The landers initially sent back data that seemed consistent with bacteria, like organisms in the soil. But with further analysis, early optimism soured. Was there life on Mars? NASA concluded, probably not. This wishy-washy answer was frustratingly ambiguous, especially for a $1 billion experiment. 
So, NASA is now taking a different approach in its hunt for microbes. Unlike the Viking landers, the new Perseverance rover isn't looking for chemical signs of metabolism. Instead, Perseverance will trundle through Mars' gaunt landscape searching for sediments. These could contain clues to organisms that pitched and swirled in long-vanished seas. The rationale is simple. If Mars ever had life, the dead will surely outnumber the living and are therefore more likely to be found. The proposed landing site for Perseverance, Jezero Crater, looks like a former lake basin fed by a dried out river. A happy hunting ground for a rover prowling for the desiccated remains of early inhabitants. The samples cached by Perseverance will hopefully be collected and returned to Earth by a future mission to be analyzed in terrestrial laboratories. There will be no eureka moment for Perseverance. If Martians are found, they will be found on Earth. But if that happens, it will be more than an interesting science story. Just as the past is now divided into before and after the Copernican Revolution, so too will discovering long-expired Martian bacteria permanently change humanity's view of its own importance. There is, however, one thing that could dampen the impact of finding dead life on Mars. If it turns out that Martian organisms were related to earthly life, if both sport the same DNA biology, then the discovery may point to the way life can accidentally spread between worlds. Hitchhiking on dirt clods kicked into space by meteor impacts. That would be interesting, yes, but far more portentous would be to discover that our solar system has had a second genesis. That life on Earth and Mars had different origins. That would imply that life is as commonplace in the cosmos. If so, it would be a near certainty that in other places among the trillion planets of the Milky Way, life has evolved to a state of self-aware intelligence. Simply getting life started doesn't guarantee this. There would surely be manifold worlds where life stalls out as pond scum. But that cannot be the case for every planet or moon that spawns biology. Intelligence has survival value, so finding Martian life should compel us to abandon the notion that we are privileged, that humans are the sole sentient inhabitants of the universe. Indeed, we would not only have a strong indicator of cosmic company, but could infer that it is widespread. It would include beings that are far beyond our own technical level, given that the sun and its planets are relative newcomers to the universe billions of years younger than the average solar system. With that, our video has come to an end here. So what's your take on this whole alien skeleton being found on Mars? Are you on board with it, or are you skeptical like the NASA scientists? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, Mars Discovery, and hit the bell icon for more intriguing content. Until then, goodbye.